All right, over 40 crowd in the building. Here I am. I have been watching different videos encouraging people over 40 to get on YouTube. And so I am ready to get on YouTube. I am not a stranger to social media, uh, the internet or YouTube. I have been posting YouTube videos really just focused on my virtual assistant podcast and nothing else. Well, now it's time to do the something else. One of the things that caused me not to do a video like I'm doing today is being an overthinker. Overthinking, what am I going to say? Who am I going to say it to? And not realizing that the clock is ticking as I'm trying to figure out those things. Why not do it in real time and figure it out as I go. When I first started my virtual assistant business in 2008, social media was not a thing. I also was not in groups or circles where people were doing business online, looking for clients online. I wasn't in any of those circles. It was brand spanking new for me and the people around me pretty much looked at me like I had three heads when I talk about this wonderful thing called Elance and getting projects and starting my virtual own virtual assistant business full time. And it was great because I didn't know the danger of it. I didn't know the risk. I didn't know the success. I didn't know the failure. I didn't know anything except I didn't want to sit in a cube anymore. And so I'm reaching back as I talk to you right now to what it was like at that time. And not worrying about the unknowns, but stepping out anyway and having faith that things will work out. The reason being is because it would not leave me alone. Doing videos wouldn't leave me alone. I actually would rather talk on video than be at a networking event and having to walk around and introduce myself and hand out cards and all this. I'd rather be here talking to you in this way and have you talk back and, you know, put your comments and things like that. So that is what I'm going to start doing is just sharing stories. I love telling stories. I, I, I my friends think some think I'm funny. My family thinks I'm funny. I'm not a comedian, but I enjoy telling a good story. So I'm gonna give you a good networking story, a tip that I was given, and then I went out and tried to put it into the world and it didn't work, it didn't work out. So here's the tip that I got was um, to only get business cards from people that you genuinely were interested in knowing more about them or working with them or whatever you wanted to continue the connection, not just getting cards for the purpose of giving them your card, but getting cards from people who you, you really wanted to keep the connection going with. And then to not just give your card to everybody, but really, you know, taking an assessment of the people that you are meeting. Now, I'm not telling you to do this. I don't know if that's good advice or bad advice, but I tried it, y'all. And I don't know if it didn't work because I'm me or because the people were them or what this case may be. And this is a few years ago. This is this is before everybody got locked up and was really, you know, wanting to network with people. This is before that. I was about like 2018, 2017. Um, so I go, it was a lunch networking, a mixed crowd, different types of people. I knew no one, which was very scary to me um, because, you know, I'm going by myself. I don't know anybody in this room. It was very scary. So my heart was just oh, beating out of my chest, a little similar to me recording this video. And walking, I remember walking into the room. It was at Fox and the Hound. Um, and I walked in and everybody seemed pretty nice. And so I have this thing where I automatically visualize whoever I'm speaking to is friendly and smiling so that no matter what face they're giving me back, it doesn't change how I respond. So if you look, if, whether you're looking friendly or not, I'm going to speak, hi, how are you? You know. I'm, I'm always going to do that because in my mind, I'm imagining that you're nice and you got a big smile on your face, whether you do or not, because some people just aren't smiley people. I'm a smiley person and I get everybody's not a smiley person. I have another story about that another day. 
Okay, so I'm trying to use this new advice. I'm only gonna get cards from people that I'm genuinely interested in, right? So I'm trying to do that. And um, the speaker, you know, there's a special speaker and I couldn't tell you what his business was because I genuinely was not really interested in whatever his business was, I forget. It might've been insurance or, or something like that. I mean, obviously we all need insurance, but in the moment I just, you know, wasn't really interested in, uh, you know, seeking out services at that time. So anyway, but he was nice. So he's, he's walking around talking to everybody and he's talking to me, I'm talking to him. And he asked for my business card. He was interested in virtual assistant work, blah, blah, blah. So I hand him my card, continue to talk to them. He got mad at me because I didn't ask for his business card as well. And this is how I know, because he said, well, aren't you going to ask me for my business card? And I said, oh, <laughs> in my mind, I'm trying to do this advice about only getting business cards from people that I'm genuinely interested in. And, and I'm just like, ah, well, you know, I don't know. I don't even know exactly what I said. I kind of fumbled my way. I apologize. I'm so sorry, whatever. Of course, y'all, you made me feel bad because I didn't get his card. Anyway, I ended up, of course, getting his card. I don't think. Actually, he might not have gave me this card because I didn't ask for it. Uh, you know, it's a, a situation where you didn't ask for it. So I'm not going to give it to you or something like that. But um, <laughs> that advice didn't work. That didn't work. Um, I don't recommend trying that. Maybe there's a different way, a better way nowadays. As you're talking like six years later or so. Hopefully there's a better way. But y'all... That was the last lunch networking <laughs> event that I went to that was like that. Uh, and I didn't go back to that particular group or anything like that. It was wild. This, this me, I just, I just shrunk back into my shell and got out of there as soon as I saw an opportunity to ease out of the crowd. It wasn't really a crowd, it was maybe 25 people to ease out and get the heck out of there. But anyway, I'm going to share some more stories with you like that. Hey, over 40 crowd signing in for duty. I take on this challenge. So if you'd like to hear more of my stories, uh, just be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll get notifications and all that good stuff. I'll have some other tips and stuff to share as well. Again, this is my very first video. I am you are watching me in real time figure out how this is all going to happen. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have an amazing day.